What's up, people? How's it going? It's your boy Isaiah, and we're back with another mother effing video. Listen, Fabio Foreman, Kanye West, and Alicia Keys released a song called City of Gods, and it's supposedly supposed to be like the um, Empire State of Mind 2.0, but with drill beats. And I don't know, is it? I like to see that. I like to see how good it's gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it a buck. So, we're gonna see if it's good. Fabio Foreign, really interesting because Fabio Foreign makes drill music and I guess drill music is like the new New York for rap which is which is I mean it's cool or whatever but when I think about drill music I think about you know the you know England overseas because that's where I heard it first you know the skeptics of the world but there's like other people who are doing it. I'm just like yo what is what is this when I first heard it and I was like okay oh this is dope and then Pop Smoke was doing it, Fabio Four was doing it, and then you got a whole bunch of other artists that are doing it and getting into it. And it's like the new thing. And it's become more established. It's become so more established that now the mayor of New York is saying that, um... It's very funny how, like, the cycles change within music and the topics that people are talking about. And the mayor of New York now is saying, or is he the governor? I'm gonna say mayor. The black mayor. That man. Uh, he's saying that um, drill music is basically corrupting the minds of people in New York or, you know, people everywhere and there needs to be a stop to it and social media needs to not pl play drill music. Very interesting as times are changing and people are now changing different narratives to fit a motive. And can you make arguments to it? I think you can, but I also feel like they're talking about real life, but, you know, some people, that's not their life, so then they, they just pose as a character that they're not but there's that but anyways let's get into the music and you know of course Kanye is going through what Kanye is going through right now so there's that so I know he's gonna be talking about it and I just you know sometimes I just feel like Kanye just make the music please but you know there's certain things where it's like oh you could you could have a whole essay about Kanye and Kim you really can oh my god let's just get into the song <laughs> Because I'll be here all day talking. You know what's crazy? So I saw this on TikTok, right? The Chainsmokers, if you don't know them, they're like a rock alternative um, band. And they make some good music. Um, I guess Kanye used their snippet from an old song. And I guess they didn't even know. And they heard it and they for the first time. So they thought it was their original song. But it was Kanye you sampling and then having uh, Alicia Keys sing the part. So I think that's kind of cool. And how like they didn't know. But there was like a video for it. So, I, you know, there's that. New York City. Please go easy on this heart of mine. Because I'm losing my lover to the arms of another oh man yeah because especially what's going on in new york and of course other places around yeah oh and arms of another it was kind of ooh. all right it's hitting it's hitting all right paying okay fabio paying how much to pop you know drew music is in charge okay oh, he's putting a stance on this Ooh, that was kind of good oh this, this might just be the 2.0. I was gonna, I was gonna talk some shit, but like, I don't think I can. City of money, This is just everything about New York. He said it's about some money. It's about getting what you need to do. It's about um. What else did he say? Yeah, the girls you're messing with, they'll come with a balance because you know you're gonna be spending money on them and causing headache. And then you know people need your true sides because you know everybody be iffy nowadays and you know, don't really be on your side. Oh man, all right. Hey, you know what? Ooh, so he's putting a stance that he's the king. He's letting you know he running shit. He said, if I want him to not let you come into the city, it's my option. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, this song will be a hit when they start playing this in the clubs, especially in the in the uh, day, day parties in New York. Hey, the the okay. <laughs> I might need to make a trip in New York because I'm gonna gotta make a trip. I'm gonna make a trip. You know what's crazy with the whole drill music too? It's it, it, again, it's gonna be even f interesting because when trap came about. People were like not feeling trapped talking about it. Of course, Old Heads was talking about it. Now, but drill music, drill music's been around for a while. I feel like the American audience, not everyone's been used to it because, of course, the Southern southern rappers are, are like, of course, dominating. But drill music is, 
is making a killer, making a killing right now. So it's like people are gonna talk about the drill music and say, "Oh, what is this?" and not doing nothing. But it, it. we went off the grid. We lost stone. We cook it. We went viral on the Okay, I like how I like how he came in and he's talking about we we didn't watch the throne. We took it almost reference to um the throne niggas in Paris with him and Jay Z when they were having that that run of that album. Okay, okay, Kanye. All right. Oh shit. Uh, let him have your wife. I mean. <laughs> Kanye gonna do, Kanye gonna, Kanye, if that next album Kanye releases, I swear to God, it's gonna be talking about more of like Kim and their relationship. This song is doing it right now, I'm sure, but it's just gonna be talking, he's gonna be talking hella shit. It's just what he needs. He just loves it. It just, it just drives him to make the, the music that he makes, man. But I mean, come on, you, you ain't let him have your wife, you know, you, you know. You can look it up, you know. <laughs> you know what? He said, if you got an album, postpone it. I dropped two and they both going. I got a feeling they in their feelings. Oh, man. All right. And he said that they, they film on a show, but they won't show it. I, which is, I think he's referencing, again, Kim and the family and about certain things that's going on where they're not going to actually show an aspect so he has to make sure he defends himself oh man this 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 gonna be a battle <laughs> this gonna be a battle and for some reason we all saw it coming but it's gonna be a battle oh the music this album better be good oh and he's also gonna be performing at Coachella which that whole thing with him and um the Billy thing that was a little that was a little that to me that's just a little that's a little dumb but you know hey I guess Kanye thought she she did say something, but she didn't, and he was an apology, and that um, Travis Scott's gonna be there to perform, which I feel like I feel like we saw that coming too, so I guess we don't really know. And he's like threatening not to perform, which to me, if it was me and I know I didn't say anything, I'm not apologizing. So it is what it is, you know. Grow up. That's how I feel. And the whole thing with Kid Cudi. I think that was doing too much, especially if he said that you had a conversation behind closed doors and now you want to switch it, manipulate it into a different situation. Yeah, I'd be on his his side too on some F you because like what you're doing now, you, now you now you really trying to play games and he was nothing but a real friend to you. It is messed up. That's some shady shit. And yeah, Kanye, you wrong for that. But his part isn't bad. The little boy one, that, that part. I mean, I get it because that's what he does. I go back to college, do an album, and then drop out again. Took me a minute to joke in the city that you knew like Jesus. Okay. All right. Oh, Kanye really out here just spin spitting. <laughs> he said, he, he gonna, I ain't leaving nothing on this. He really going in. I just hope he makes it to Coachella, you know? Because, you know, like they like to say he's off his meds and stuff. I don't think he's off his meds. I think he's just really trying to express himself. And at this point, this is him. But I don't know if later, you know, the, the Coachella comes, if something's going to happen. Because it's like, he gets, he gets into a high, and then something happens, and then boom. Like, damn. Get it together, because I want the music. But I wish him nothing but the best. And he just makes it through. And I hope it don't... See, I hope... See, the divorce is gone. Kanye was addressing just about every and anything in this song. The 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 party, the um family, the boyfriend pulling up with goons into SNL, which to me that's doing too much. Come on now. The boy man just wanna live his life, you know what I'm saying? You know he you know he oh, he got he got the problems too, right? Anyways, that's not my business. Um but yeah, Kanye, that was good. I like how you said you will go back to college and drop an album, drop an album and drop out again. That was cool. I like I like an album from when you did drop out, college drop out. I would like that. You know that we could use another one of those. Yes, I agree. But um, yeah, I don't think this is a bad song. I would listen to it, and when I hear it in the club, I would definitely yup. Especially in New York, I don't I don't really see them playing it anywhere else unless they do in the New York, New York, and then the um the five year part. If I'm being honest, when he says, um, the shmoney, Millie Rock, that part, 
I, that's what I see. But hey, all right, Kanye. All right. That was the reaction. Did y'all like the song? City of Gods, live up to your expectations. I thought it was good. But all right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace. <laughs>